All right, today we're gonna be uh, rekeying this Omnia lock. Uh, it's basically an SC keyway, so any Schlage keyway will work, SC1, SE. Uh, I don't think it'll take the six pin, so probably the SE1, SC1 keyway is gonna be the only one that's gonna work on that. Um, so it's got a factory key. Basically, it's just gonna come apart like your average lock. I got the uh, tool here, this slides over presses the detent right in here that you can see. Uh, you can also do this with a screwdriver. Just push that down and twist this cap off, uh, but this is much faster. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on there. Go over the tailpiece, just like so. Spin the cap off, set it all down right here. Dump the retaining pin, if it'll come out. Uh, if it doesn't want to come out, that one doesn't want to come out. That's kind of odd. Um, that's the retaining pin that we're trying to get out of there. Uh, so we'll just leave it in there, I guess. Um, and then we get our original working key. Slide that in, just like so. Rotate 90 degrees. Insert follower and follow the unit out. Keeping all the pins in the top where they're supposed to be. Remove the key, insert our new key, just regular SC blank. Uh, these cylinders seem to be uh, one, one pin uh, size greater than uh, your, what it would normally call for with the Schlage uh, bit cutting. Uh, so for example, uh, if we took a four, instead of using a four Schlage, which would be a uh, 225, 225 thousandths, uh, we would use a 230. We'd go one size bigger, five thousandths bigger, and that seems to set right in there and, and keep this thing pretty happy. Um, going with the direct size, I got a little bit of feedback from it, and uh, it just, it was pretty crunchy, so it didn't seem to like that very much. So we'll just go with that five thousandths bigger than what it calls for. And put all our pins in to place. Oop. Oh, that was wrong. And that one's wrong. Somehow I get my pins all messed up in here. There we go. And one final one. Right here. Okay, so then they should just look like that. Boom. All nice and even. Can't see anything sticking up. No lip when you run your finger across there. And then we're going to just slide this right back in. Bingo. Works very nicely. Go ahead and put our stuff back on. We're probably going to want to make sure this detent pin is working. For some reason this one's just not springing back out very well. So this is just some of that stuff that you're going to encounter in the field and you just need to be able to adapt to. There it goes. A little lubrication in that. That'll help that out. Make it springy again. Okay. We're going to take all this stuff and put it directly back onto there. Use this stuff, I guess. Screw our cap screw down tight and then back it off one turn, one click. We'll need to line all this stuff back up here. One click and new key works just fine. Old key does not. You've successfully rekeyed your Omnia lock.